All new at 10, it is the spooky season, and one Vancouver family got their dose of scary while their dog was missing for days. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us now from Vancouver with a heartwarming story about the community effort that brought a family back together. The dog's owner, Mary, says she was walking Dart leash in hand when Dart suddenly took off. And a week went by with no word or whisper of Dart and hope was seemingly at a loss. But one local nonprofit helped Dart find his way home. And now you can say the owners, well, they're jumping with joy. Uh, boing. Uh, boing. Meet D'Artagnan, like the musketeer, short for Dart. It has been pointed out that Dart is kind of ironic. <laughs> <laughs> About a week ago, Mary and Dart were leaving Petco when a loud car went by, scaring the dog running and jerking the leash out of Mary's hand. And took off like a shot. She lost view of him, not knowing which way he'd turned. The very next day, posters went up. At all the coffee stands and all the little stores we could just... Every time I'd hand out a poster, I'd cry. <laughs> they took to the internet, where thousands of people offered up their help, but with no luck. We had no indication at all where he went. I had really given up, and, you know, I, I didn't ever think I'd see him again. It was a long week, especially with the weather turning cold and wet. It was raining out there, and I, did what you asked. I just was hoping he was still alive. Mary had a feeling he had to be around a duck pond near where Dart had taken off. She was certain that he had to be somewhere in that area. Down. Still, there was no word or sighting of Dart, but all the while, a nonprofit called I Pawed It Forward, led by Carrie Lynn Jacobs, who is dedicated to finding lost animals, never gave up. The work she does is amazing. Day and night, she's out there driving the streets looking for people's lost pets. The impossible happened. Dart was found, picked up by an ambulance just two blocks from the duck pond Mary swore he was at. They got in touch with Carrie Lynn, who knew exactly where to go next. Are you ready, buddy? <laughs> she called us a couple hours later and says, guess who I have? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, my God. You got it? Don't make me cry too. I couldn't believe it. I, I just... She was, she, she actually said, I'll believe it when she gets here. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> then there he was. Uh, I don't think there's a way to describe that kind of emotion. I still can't believe it. The couple says they're very happy to have Dart right back home where he belongs. Mary says she's going to be holding on to him a little bit tighter now. Just might not ever let go. She also encourages people to chip their animals because it might have been easier to find them that way. Here in Vancouver, I'm Jeffrey Limblum for Foxwell, Oregon.